Hey everyone, today we're making double crusted apple tart for Valentine's. Yeah, you can do this for your sweetheart on the Cooking Everything Outdoors show. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a really simple apple tart. Looks really cool. But this is just the basic recipe, and you could expound upon this all that you want. It'll be very simple to add different ingredients to this and to play with it however you would like. Now, before we get started, I want to talk to you about the pie pan that we're going to be using. And this is a cast iron pie pan. Uh, it's from Camp Chef, and I believe it's referred to as a 9-inch uh, pie pan. And to use this, it's going to be super simple makes a beautiful crust, but we need to make sure we get a little bit of uh, grease on this. I'm using the Crisco brand. You could use lard, oil, but I like the Crisco. So let's go over our very basic, simple ingredients that we're going to need for our double crusted uh, apple tart. So we need two apples, which we will core, peel, and slice thinly. Two cheater pie crusts, you'll need a half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar, one tablespoon of cold butter, and I've just cubed this up in small pieces, one tablespoon of all-purpose flour, half a tablespoon of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of lemon juice. So, how would you expand upon this recipe? Pretty simple. You could add uh, some cloves, you could add some pumpkin spice, you could add um, some nutmeg to it to just to uh, change the pro flavor profile a little bit more. You could add some uh, lemon zest, uh, some little red hots, some caramel. All these things will just build upon the flavor profile that you're creating with this very basic recipe. So let's put together our uh, basic our brown sugar cinnamon mix. Our regular sugar, our flour, and our cinnamon. We're going to mix that up really good. Now that we have this mixed up, this is where you would add, if you wanted to, add some extra flavors. We're going to use half of this with our pie crust and half of this is going with our apple slices. Okay, so let's get our pie crust out and unroll this gently. It's best if it's not ice cold but yet still cold. It's going to roll out a lot easier. We'll lay that into our grease pie tin, making sure it's up against the sides evenly. Now, we're going to take half of our brown sugar mixture, and then I want to sprinkle my butter evenly, just like so. So now we want to take our second crust, carefully opening that up. We want to lay this directly on top of the other one, as best you can. Fairly decent there. Now, you're going to need to make some cuts in here. Don't go through the second crust. So just slightly make some vent cuts. The reason we're doing this is we're going to try to prevent it from rising in the middle. Okay, so now we need to take our crust here, and, and they're not perfectly even. You could trim them up if you want. Uh, try to adjust them, however, to get them as close as possible. But uh, you know what? This is going to be folded over, so to me it's not a big, big issue. But with this pie crust, we have to bake it partially first. Otherwise, we're going to have a soggy middle, and that doesn't taste good. So what I do is I'll just take a, a sheet about the size of the pie, and, and then I want to roll up. And you want to do this with two pieces. Otherwise, you're going to have a heck of a time getting them out. I'm going to do another one. About like that. So now we're going to very carefully create our buckle, which I just take and put a finger there and roll it over. 
Okay, so that looks pretty nice for Noki. So what I have here are my coals that I've gotten ready. And I have them in the in the baskets for indirect cooking. And then we take our pie crust and we're going to put that right in the center there. And this isn't going to cook for more than maybe five to eight minutes. So keep an eye on it, put the lid on it, and stay close. So while our pie crust is cooking, we're going to make our apple filling. Okay, so you've probably all done this a million times. We just want to give this a quick peel. And get some nice thin eighth inch slices. Okay, so this is coming along. It's baking up just like we want it. So now we have our apple slices. We want to take our lemon juice and drizzle it all over there. That's just going to help it prevent it from browning. Now we're going to take the rest of our filling and we're going to mix it in there. And once you got everything mixed up, it is ready for the pie crust. And as soon as that's done, we'll put this in there. Let's get this off. And we're going to let this set for a few minutes. So we've cooled down just a little bit and we want to get our foil out and start filling the pie up. got to get gooey on this. Can't do it any other way. Just start stuffing your apple slices under that crust. And we're going to build layers up. And once you have your first layer down, you're going to start another layer. But I think you're starting to get the idea of what we're looking for. So you can see how pretty this is, and this is going to bake uh, probably 20, 35 minutes or so, 25, 35 minutes. But you need to keep an eye on the crust to make sure that doesn't burn. If it starts to burn, then just take some of your foil and make yourself a crust shield like that. Okay, back onto the grill, about 350 degrees roughly 25 to 35 minutes. You're going to have to keep an eye on this one. Okay, so we've been cooking this for 35 minutes and it is bubbling in the center. It's browned beautifully around the outside and I think that is a thing of beauty. Okay, let's give this cut here and see how we did. Well, got to try it. Mm. Hope you enjoyed this. Take a second, go visit my sponsors, Outdoor Cooking and Camp Chef and Island Grillstone. Great people. Great products, great friends. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.